Lake Harriet's southeast beach is a popular spot to take a dip. But this year, people are seeing green encompass their swimming hole. I notice an extreme amount of algae forming on the waters. Rhea Peter not only noticed the overgrowth of algae, but was surprised by how warm the lake is right now. It was like room temperature, warm water. I could hardly even feel a difference going into it. This is a pretty early jump start to our algae season. We normally don't see this until we get closer into July and August. Pam Anderson with the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency says this algae growth is a direct result of heat and drought for several weeks in Minnesota. I think it's just going to be a really long summer. If we stay hot and dry like we are, it's going to be very persistent well into the later months. They're also already getting reports of blue-green algae this year, which looks like this. It's the type of algae that's toxic to pets. People are going to need to be on the lookout. Make sure you're rinsing off your kids and pets after they're playing in the water. This overgrowth is also making it tough on sailors. My sailors out here, uh, even the instructors, are getting caught up in the weeds a bunch. So at least two to three times a day, I'm having to drive the motorboat out there and kind of clear them out. There. Joseph Lund, who leads Lake Harriet Sailing School, says the lake is a foot shallower than normal because of this long stretch of no rain, another contributor to the algae and milfoil growth. There's some years where it's only a foot below the retaining wall, and right now there's it's uh, all the rebar is even exposed, which good time for concrete work. <laughs> <laughs> In South Minneapolis, Mary Elmo's WCCO 4 News. Algae also thrives on runoff from the land. You can prevent more algae growth by raking up your grass clippings and leaves and picking up after your pets.